For recording ECG, the zebrafish is placed in a 2-phenoxyethanol anesthetizing solution, which is a 1 to 1,000 dilution, for approximately 3 minutes until there is minimal gill motion. While we are waiting for the fish to fall asleep, why don't we set up our software? Opening up LabScribe, we open up the settings file, which is preset for two channels, a raw channel and a filter channel. Getting back to our fish, it's pretty much out. And now is ready for the experiment. The fish is then positioned on its back on a pedestal. which is placed and positioned under the silver-silver chloride surface electrodes that are connected to the iWorks recorder. Using the turn screw positioner, the electrodes are then gently lowered to make adequate contact with the fish. And now we're ready to start the recording. We're going to auto scale so it fills the channel full range. And we're going to record for approximately five minutes. We're going to time lapse this. There's one minute. Here's two minutes. Here's three minutes. We're at four minutes. And finally, five minutes. We stop the recording. All right, let's get our fish into the recovery bath. While the fish is recovering, let's go analyze our data. Go to Advanced, ECG Analysis, Offline Calculations. In the window, we set the channel we want the data to come from. We're gonna set the whole block of information. Under the Settings tab, we can set specifics as far as detection, but we can also load a preset for the zebrafish. That sets everything for us automatically. We can also adjust for artifact removal and set detection algorithms. At this point, we hit Calculate. And now it is broken down into the various groups. And the cycles in each group, allowing us to go through each section of the trace and remove any outliers. Once all that is done, we can see our data on the bottom. And once we're happy with that, we can then export it out. And then open it up in our favorite spreadsheet. Well, our fish is recovered. All is good. And he's ready for another experiment.